Hello there, this is Express Man, and today we are going to talk about bow thrusters. That's right, the things that make your boat go sideways. So strap in and, well, we're going to do this. Uh, how did I delete a random brick from right there? All right. Bow thrusters. So there's a couple different ways to do it, and I want to show you them. First of all, um, let me show you the way I'm not going to do it, but it is informative. Uh, is that... What is in there? Do I have a fuel tank or something? Oh, that's the floor. Okay, no problem. So the most absolute simple way uh, to do bow thrusters is to... Uh, but -da -ba dum where are our propellers? There we go. Small propeller. And we stick that in there. Um, rotate it on the K-axis and do it like that. Then really, literally, I mean, all we need to do, of course, is pipe in power connection there. Usually a small motor suffice, so you just drop a small motor in there, put electricity to it. And shazam, you have a bow thruster. You can do one on each side. Uh, I've even been in situations where I'll do two or even triples um, next to each other. And, and I really thought about doing that on this boat. Um, a slightly more enlightened way of doing the same thing is still doing that one propeller, but recessing it. So we can come through here and remember all my axes here there we go we got that one that one that one that one and then we throw up our corners Ooh, i don't have inverted corner in my short list let's fix that do do do, do inverse pyramid drop that in there And then we make this nice sort of recessed pocket. I don't know if it makes a performance difference. I'm guessing it's actually worse, not better, but it certainly looks better, has more fit and finish to it. Okay, let's do this. There you go. Now you can see it's not actually flush, but it doesn't stick out as much. Um, so that that's how you do like the most simple. This would be a little weak. If, if I had a boat where I just needed the ability to move sideways, that would be adequate, like if it was not a big deal. However, um, this is a tugboat, so side-to-side -side movement is rather a big deal, since we've got uh, Tuggy McTug face or whatever I'm calling it here. <clears throat> so let's paint this back, and then I'm going to show you what I'm actually going to do in bow thruster land. Now, because this is a tugboat, I'm actually planning on having a 360 spinning propeller or two in the back. Um, also, I went ahead and added these big old magnets in the front. But anyway, that's a different story. Now, the problem is here we've got just a nice, you know, sloping hull, which is great. <clears throat> However, we've got to make a hole in the hull. So. This is a little painful, but actually before I do that, let's turn on symmetry. So this is happening on both sides, and yep, we're going to have a big hole. That's okay. The bow thruster is rather important to what we're doing here. Um, now, I only need a 3x3, three three and we got a 4x4 four four out of the deal. Um, let me do some quick big brain. Oh, really? Music? Let's see here. Graphics, controls, audio... Music. Goodbye, music. All right, there we go. So, let's see here. I generally want it as low as possible, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and make my top here. Um, not sure about the internal diameter yet, but I think I'm going to have to do this. So... I got symmetry on, so it's making it a little bit easier. There we go. So we're making basically a... The goal here is a 3x3 tunnel. That's the end goal. 
Um, that's three by three internal, so it's going to be you know effectively a five by five, like that. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll clean it up. But the important part is to get the propulsion part in here, and then we'll then we'll clean it up. So for that, we need. I should have painted this thing ahead of time. Um. I went right past it, didn't I? The azimuth thruster. Now you could do different things. You could try to mount a large, not a large, what is it called? The medium? <clears throat> I don't even see the medium. What's going on with that? Anyway, I prefer in this application the azimuth propeller. Um, very often in a boat, I will mount only one, even when I'm using this propeller. However, uh, because we are talking about a tugboat, I want it to be kind of crazy strong. Oh, let's get it in there. Back one more. You'll see why in a minute. Yeah, so I'm actually going to do two. That's, that's not my normal thing, but I think it's the way to go here. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to regret not just doing these blocks in white. So let me hit this before I make it even more complicated with hit it with color before I make it more complicated and then um, and we do want it to look good or at least as good as possible it's not gonna be amazing because you know we're knocking off some fancy geometry to do this and it is what it is okay so um, as you can see in theory that hole is it's bigger than it needs to be and I could do this to the whole thing or I could just do this to the ends for looks I'm gonna do this to the ends for looks so notice you know because of collision I can't go in further but I can go to there and I should be able to hopefully maybe do it on this side yeah but it's gonna look bad there we'll get that we'll talk about that in a second that there and that there and we'll go ahead and splash a little more paint around for dealing with our issues okay so that's basically the important part I mean we'll need to come in here and that's a couple blocks down we need to come in here and ooh, find let's see it's gonna be here there it is uh, that's the the power drive we'll just put it straight through we can change it later but at least now we know where it is so cool <clears throat> and you can put any kind of power to this I typically put electric uh, in this case the larger uh, what are they call the mediums electric motors on here I can still decide later what I want to do but um, because I, I selected it hello oh, okay um, those that might actually one would probably do both of them so I might just do one in the middle except that they need to be counter rotating so I mean need a reversing gearbox or something so um, because you don't typically run them for very long that's and and then you know hooking up to an engine with a clutch and a gearbox it's rather complicated it'd be worth it if you expected to be doing large amounts of sideways motoring but do we really now as far as cleaning up the hole this is there's this there's no way this is going to be great and that makes me sad but it is the reality of what we are living with here so hmm I could try let's just try something here back to our angles let's do one by four now the problem is the one by four would clean up one of these pretty well but not both and that makes me a little sad. We could do a two by four. 
and we'd be basically in the same predicament. I do feel better about that. We can't do a 4x4, four four, I don't think. No, we just can't. Um, I think... Yeah, this is... This is just going to be messy no matter what. We could do 1x2 in verse here, which is this one. Like that. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I don't love it to death, but I think that's as good as it's going to get. Uh, granted, this piece right here potentially go if that made things less weird does it though I mean I could put one of these here just a one by one inverse paint it up and we don't have that bottom lip thing going on that does look kind of more intentional it it's rough Certain ship designs, particularly bigger ships, you can definitely like do the. Uh, you can get a. It's it's a little less mm, intense <laughs> to do this. Um, yeah, anything I put here is going to be lower than that. I don't know how I feel about that. I also really don't like the idea of doing nothing. So, you know, how bad would it be? Oh, let's not do that yeah I was in th this is probably a bad idea but we're experimenting right to do that I don't know I actually don't know what the physics are on blocking uh, bow thrusters It'd be a good thing to find out because yeah give me some options but I don't feel good about that so let's see I can't even do I can't even do one of these here without it doing that weirdness so that's not great um, there's really no other option so hmm I mean literally it just leaves me either doing one of these which I don't think is gonna work I mean, I could do it to his neighbor if we thought it was less weird. Ooh. Um, sorry if I'm giving you motion sickness. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. It's pretty funky. <laughs> but I'm not working it out in my head how we could do better than this. It really doesn't look that bad. Only when we like really get up in it does doesn't make me cringe. But there we go. And then yeah, so I think the right way to do this is uh, I'm gonna turn off symmetry and um, I'm gonna delete those. And then we're gonna I need an uh, enclosed elbow. Again, the trick with finding these is find the tube version that you want. There's the angle, and it'll be the next one on the list, which in the case of pipe angle is on the next row, which is a little weird. Um, okay, so let's do. Okay, I guess I could have kept symmetry on for this, but whatever. Then we'll grab straight. Um, I'm going to leave a gap uh, on that side and then we'll do a T which is this one and then we'll do a gearbox and it doesn't really matter which way it's facing I don't think because before I forget let's do ratio on there we go and it just flips it so now, when we grab our, you know what, let's be real, it's probably going to be like medium gray. Um, 
Oops, not the wall. Whatever, I'll get that later. Uh, motor. Grab our medium. Now this thing will hit the battery really hard, but again, the point is that you're not doing it for long amounts of time. And that's it. I'd hook it up to a battery, put power to it, um, and then the cool thing is um, with the gearbox uh, let me think about this. Wait a minute. Did I? Yep. Yep, I got, it's right. With the gearbox um, they'll both be actually pushing in the same direction. <laughs> Because if you just put power to both of them, they would be pushing <clears throat> against each other. But flipping one, they'll agree with each other. And then in a later episode, we will go through how to a couple ways of doing the controls, um, which can be simple um, and it can be really complicated. Uh, for example, um, particularly since I've got to have the rotating back thrusters. You know, if they're at 90 degrees, this thing could crab perfectly straight sideways. Or uh, if they're 90 degrees opposite, it could do a perfect turn on a dime. Which means, you know, they're not going with each other, they're going against each other. And so that all has different controls implications that you got to think through. But we will handle that in the future. For now, this has been... Bow thrusters, I think you could imagine if you need giant bow thrusters for a big ship, you would do this idea just with the actual propellers and a piece down in the middle. But this should get you going. This has been Expressman. Hopefully this was helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.